We're just a little more than 10 days away from the opening ceremony to the Tokyo Games. The basketball competition will be held at Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan. Before we get there, USA Basketball has a couple of Olympic tune-up games on tap. Already playing on Saturday night, they next take on Australia. Damian Lillard, Jeremy Grant, Zach Levine and company looking for some revenge after Saturday night's loss to Nigeria. NBC Sports proudly presents another production of USA Basketball. It's Team USA against the Boomers of Australia, live from Las Vegas at Michelob Ultra Arena in Mandalay Bay. And we welcome you courtside folks, Kevin Dana alongside Kara Lawson, Olympic gold medalist and USA Women's 3X3 head coach. And Kara, yes, it was a tough loss to Nigeria on Saturday night, but that's just a reminder that this gold medal potentially for Team USA is going to be tough to get. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it's it's harder now uh, across the world. The margin for error for the United States smaller. And so when you look at this team and limited preparation in the lead up, these two weeks are critical. They're critical for them to get into a good rhythm. There might be some bumps along the road, but if they can get to Tokyo and peak at the right time, they have as good a shot as anybody else in the world at taking home that gold medal. Well, after the loss to Nigeria, this is what head coach of Team USA, Greg Popovich, had to say. In a way, I'm kind of glad it happened. Uh, you know, that, that loss um, means nothing if we don't learn from it. But it could be the most important thing in this um, tournament for us to learn lessons from this and see what we did uh, to move on. Because it's a great group of guys, high character, and, and we'll figure it out. If USA wants to have more success, they're going to need more production out of these three guys. KD? Damian Lillard and Bradley Beal. Yeah, there's no question. It was a tough offensive night for these three players, but their history in the NBA, their history, at least Kevin Durant's history in international competition, says that they're tremendous scorers. So expect a bounce back game from these three players. I think the United States on the offensive end, still figuring out how they want to play with one another. Taking good shots has got to be a priority for them and passing the basketball. It was a three point loss for Team USA on Saturday and a three point win for Australia, just evading the clutch of Argentina, 87-84, getting the game-winning buzzer beater from Patty Mills, who had 17 points. This might be the most exciting player in Tokyo at the men's basketball competition, Patty Mills. He plays with tremendous pace, and he sets the tone for Australia in so many ways. It's his conditioning, it's his speed, it's his clutch play, his fearlessness down at the end of games. He's been doing this a long time for the Aussies on the global stage, and you see him making that tough shot against Argentina. Patty Mills is the leader of this group, and Australia is seeking their first men's basketball medal in Tokyo. And they, I, they have a team that I think that can do it, can come home from Tokyo with the medal and Patty Mills will certainly lead the way for them. Well, they nearly got in 2016 losing in the bronze medal match by one point. Brian Gorgian is the Boomers head coach. This will be his third Olympics led the Boomers in 2004 and 2008. As we take a look at our starting lineups presented by Nike and the following five out there for Australia which features four NBA players. Aaron Baines, Matthew Dellavedova, Joe Ingles and Patty Mills and Jock Landale on the cusp of getting an NBA contract. Meanwhile, for the Americans, it looks like this, Kara, a little bit of a switch. Jeremy Grant and Draymond Green in the starting lineup. Uh, Draymond Green, you know what you're going to get. Physicality, defensive communication, a level of intelligence that's unparalleled in the NBA. And so at this move, I think, is just to get somebody out there that will help set the tone. I think the United States has to play with better force on the defensive end than we saw against Nigeria. And Draymond Green's a guy that you know is going to play with great force. USA in blue, Australia in yellow. Our officials, Jose Carrion, Lauren Nimira, and Del Dre Carr. Let's jump it up, y'all. Australians win the tap, going from left to right. And Kara, what are you going to be looking for out of Team USA to start this game off? Defense, and I, I just talked about it. You know, impacting how Australia is trying to play with great physicality. And I thought they did that at times against Nigeria, but not enough. I mean, gave up way too many three-point shots. And so impacting the game on that end of the floor, I think, is a priority for the United States tonight. Now on Joe Engels. And to your point, Kara, Nigeria, 20 of 42 from downtown in that win. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, they shot well. Uh, they throttled Argentina earlier today out here in Las Vegas. Mike Brown doing a terrific job with that Nigerian national team. But defensively, there, there's a lot of work to do for this United States team. Just some miscommunications and getting on the same page on that end of the floor. They start the game with a stop for a bucket here. Jeremy Grant has a size advantage on Della Vidova, but can't take advantage. Baines with it on the block. Feeding Mills, nice shot They gets it back and has an easy lay. Now there's the pace you talk about. I mean, he, he's never he's never done. And you cannot relax against Patty Mills, especially when he gives up, up the basketball. Had a great career in the NBA. 12 years of experience at the association level for Patty Mills. Damian Lillard answering back for USA Basketball. in the house on him. He's called for the travel. Well, Patty Mills moves without the basketball down at the other end, and Damian Lillard does one better. Excellent job to Draymond Green. Lillard with 14 in the loss to Nigeria on Saturday. Surging to the move and a nice finish around Landale. Mills trying to get it back. USA looking to push tempo. KD, 4 3. Here's Angles. They let him shoot it and he makes it back. Kara, that's not a guy you want to leave open. No, you know, if, if you're going to go under the screens or if you're going to switch those screens, you, you have to be aware of, of angles and, and get up, climb up hill, and try and challenge that shot a little bit better. Again, against Nigeria, not enough shots challenged beyond the arc. I thought challenged well by the United States. Well, that was a better challenge, but same result for Joe Eagles. Guy who shot 45% from downtown on more than six attempts per game with the Utah Jazz this year. Beal probing. Here's Duran on the pull up. Nicely done. So what have we seen already? A bucket from Lillard, a bucket yep. from Beal, a bucket from Dur Durant. So maybe maybe they're out of the little slump right there. There you go. Again, they combined for 30% shooting, 9 of 30 amongst the three of them. Going inside for Baines. And kind of a tough pass. Left them not a whole lot of outlets there. You know, Greg Popovich talked about this after the game, just less isolation he wanted from the team and more of this, just passing the ball around, getting it quick to other guys, knowing there's so many competent scorers on this team. Move that ball and try to get the best shot possible. Beal running right into Baines. We play on. Baines clutching his knee. Hopefully he's okay. Lillard going to rise. Had it knocked away by Della Vidova. Now Lillard hobbling getting back. Ingles, three for three from three. Aaron Baines still hobbling. We hope he's all right. Joe Ingles has the Australians out to an 11-7 lead. This is the play. Kind of knock knees with Bradley Beal there. A four-point lead for Australia. Off to a good start and large thanks to Joe Ingles. By the three ball against Nigeria, giving up 23s, and Kara, Joe Ingles making them pay again from distance already tonight. Yeah, he's one of the best shooters in the NBA, and he's been aggressive here to start. And you see the United States a little too far off. Joe Ingles takes advantage and is able to knock it down. He got that first one to go, and then got a little confidence. Tough step back here against Jeremy Grant. It was a nice contest, but once Joe Ingles gets going, very good at making challenge three-point shots, and 
if Aaron Baines is is out, and we'll, we'll we'll get an update from him for him. But they're going to count on Joe Ingles continuing to score at a high rate. Patty Mills and Joe Ingles are the two most important offensive players for Australia's team in Tokyo. Damian Lillard was also a little hobbled on that last possession, but thankfully he's on the floor, looking okay as Durant misses from distance. Della Vadova comes to the aid of Landale. They have the cross match down low. Landale, nice job of punching that out. Patty Mills. Good day, mate. If we were on the San Antonio Spurs broadcast, that's what they say after hitting that long range, too. Lillard, sweet looking stroke right there. Good start for Damian Lillard with a couple of threes in this contest for USA. Both made threes for USA. Really a three for four. Della Vadova stepping back. Durant looking to push the pace. Draymond, great pass to a cutting Jeremy Grant who reverses it home. Yeah, really good read by Draymond there on the cut. His man went the double, so he cuts into, into the seam, and then a great cut by Jeremy Grant on the baseline. Landale answers back. Back to Jeremy coming off a career-high season where he averaged 22 points per game for Detroit. Really had a good year, and hits again, this time from beyond the arc. A second and most improved player voting this past year, Joe Ingles. Finally missing. So again, you know the attention that Kevin Durant draws, and Draymond Green, having had experience playing with KD in Golden State, understands that as well. Great timing on both his cut and Jeremy Grant's cut. And then the kick out to, to Grant from beyond the arc. I think he's going to end up being one of the more important players on this team because of his defensive versatility when I'm talking about Jeremy Grant. And then offensively, if he's able to do that, make threes, he's going to be a guy that people play off of or pull extra defenders towards Durant or Tatum or Booker potentially, and he's going to have to make some shots. Career 35% three-point shooter in the NBA. Of course, the FIBA line is a little closer to the basket. Bam Adebayo in and banks it in nicely over to Aubrey. Adebayo scored the first two buckets of the game against Nigeria with a couple of dunks. 10-2 run here for USA. Patty Mills. There's Adebayo on him, and he lays it in. Dante Exum guarding Lillard. Doesn't matter. Damian Lillard with another bucket. Well, Garney Mills again, this time blocked by the help side D of Kevin Durant. Jason Tatum in, driving baseline. Euro steps his way and misses it. Three from Willard and Kara. He is feeling it here in the first quarter. Dame with a terrific offensive display. And, you know, it's what we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing him make tough shots. Doing it in a Portland Trail Blazers uniform, now doing it for USA Basketball. It's usually Dame time in the fourth quarter, but it's in the first tonight. I don't skip steps. I don't skip things. I think it's just working with a purpose. You know, I don't think it's always just going crazy in the gym and going super hard all the time. I think it's just being consistent. Working hard is not always just balls to the wall. You're just going crazy on the court or going crazy in the weight room. It's making everything come together and being on the same page with everything you do to, to get the result that you want. And it's hard to do that consistently. Game Lillard for Dean. Too easy. 
I don't miss a beat. You know, I, I find a way to get it done. I find a way to, to keep getting my work done when it's a lot of opportunity to be like, oh, I could just get away with this today. And I just think the fact that I, I know what makes me me. I, you know, I stick to it and I do it every day. And I think I can do it for longer periods of time than most people can. Aggressive beast, Ben. I mean, set the tone offensively from the beginning. You know, tough shots, but we're used to seeing him take and make tough shots. Those are those are easy shots for Dame because he practices them, and he's been known to do that in pressure situations. So great start for him, and really active and aggressive coming off that that game where he struggled shooting the basketball against Nigeria. And Lillard just four of ten against Nigeria, already four of five. So he's matched his make total already. The Australia basketball out of the timeout. Keldon Johnson and Zach Levine in for USA. Keldon Johnson part of that select team that practices and scrimmages against the Olympic roster. So played for Coach Pop with the San Antonio Spurs. Dante Exum, former top five pick, gives it off to Nick Kay, the long two to all. Posting up Tatum now. Chris Goulding guarding him on the block. Goulding, big time scorer in the NBL. Throws it behind Dua Breed, not on the same page there. Oh, well, they've tried to attack the switch a couple different times. The U.S. switching one through five, and uh, the guards have done a pretty solid job. It was Damian Lillard there for a couple times, just guarding. Guarding Australia's big on that roll, and uh, Australia hasn't really gotten a lot out of it. Johnson. Tatum. Then to shoot, they post up out of bio. Bam. Finds the cutting. Keldon Johnson, beautiful basketball there. Yeah, really good. Uh, you know, cuts to the basket for the USA early. I have been good. Goulding. It was Matisse Thibel who was fantastic against Argentina on Saturday. Great pass inside to Nick Kay. Plays in Spain, finishing with the left. Lillard driving ditch. Good ball movement again. Keldon Johnson from downtown. Already better flow offensively oh, yes. for the United States. I mean, night and day from the game against Nigeria. Ball really moving here for USA. Goulding answers back. This guy attempts nine threes per game in the NBL. Shows why there. Bible doing what he does best. Second team all defender in the NBA gets fouled. But on the other end, Kara, good ball movement. Uh, on a drive and early Keldon Johnson siding and an opportunity to, to play with this group. And he brings great length to that wing position and played really well this year in San Antonio for Greg Popovich. And I would see Darius Garland coming in as well. And so definitely a concerted effort uh, to rotate guys here in this first quarter. Darius Garland, Cleveland Cavaliers in. Goulding gets free, can't hit that one. Bam, the rebound. USA can get a two for one here. Tatum on the step back. Missing everything. But they will get the last crack at it. Kara, what have you made of what USA has done on the defensive end? Some good, some some still need to, still needs work, and you know it's a process. Uh, you know you, you don't you don't create that in, in a day or in a week. I mean it takes time, and that's what I talked about at the top. You know these are two critical weeks for them to continue to get better, um, to, to learn how to play with one another, to learn within the system, and to try and be sharp so that when they get to Tokyo they're defending at a high level. Johnson to beat the buzzer doesn't get it, but a good start offensively. 
for USA Basketball, leading 27-24 against Australia, the number three ranked team in the world according to FIBA. Bradley Beal on a nice take. Joe Ingles was on fire to start hitting his first three threes. We'll be back with the second quarter. Coach, a good start for you guys offensively. What have you made of the ball movement from USA thus far? Happy with the ball movement. Uh, guys are sharing the ball. Um, Kevin Durant is making extra passes. Everybody's looking for each other, cutting well, and um, we're starting to learn how to play together. On the defensive end, Jay, wh wh what did you want to see different from the Nigeria game till now? Do you feel like you've seen that in the first quarter? Yeah, more, more energy, more aggressive, uh, ag aggressiveness out on the floor, uh, getting into their ball handlers and, and being aggressive uh, in screening action, um, and just pushing our defense out further. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thanks, guys. Villanova head coach Jay Wright joining us. A, a great front bench staff that Greg Popovich has he alongside Steve Kerr, the Golden State Warriors, Lloyd Pierce, former Atlanta Hawks head coach. A very nice brain trust for USA basketball. Absolutely. And this is a group that brings a lot, brings a lot to the table in terms of their different experiences coaching it collegiately and at the NBA level. And certainly Steve Kerr playing for Greg Popovich in San Antonio and then coaching against him now over the last few years. Angles, nice pass to the cutting thigh bowl. Ingles hounded by Levine, great on-ball defense, and Ingles gives a foul to stop the transition. So that's exactly what Jay Wright talked about in an interview, right? Just getting out on the floor more, impacting the ball more, getting into Australia's ball handlers physically. And that's what Levine did on that play, is excellent one-on-one -on -one defense. The second personal on Joe Ingles. They're going to take a look at this, see if this constitutes an unsportsmanlike foul. Part of the, the FIBA rules for unsportsmanlike uh, to stop a potential fast break, any unnecessary contact caused by the defensive player in order to stop the progress of the offensive team in transition. This applies until the offensive player begins his act of shooting. So let's see. This is a, a possible unsportsmanlike foul. It would be two free throws in the basketball. And not much of an attempt by Ingles there to do much of anything defensively. Yeah, that physicality by Levine, and, and I think that's, that might be the single most important thing for the United States, or for USA basketball as they go over to Tokyo, is just their pressure they're able to put on opponents' offenses to a man, like to yeah. a man. Every, every, every player that gets in the game, are they able to defend one-on-one -on -one physically and impact the game? And if they're able to do so, I think they put themselves in great position uh, to get to to get to a gold medal, and they're going to call this an intentional foul. He's going to get two shots. And... Two shots in the ball on the unsportsmanlike foul, and Levine will do the honors. And Kara, to your point, I mean, you've won a gold medal with Team USA. You know the international game is a very physical game. It's it is very physical. Uh, you know, when I played, I found it to be more physical uh, than playing in the WNBA and I think if you talk to these players they probably say it's more physical than the NBA in terms of what's allowed yeah. like what's called okay and um, it, it's it's something that you have to make the adjustment you have to make the adjustment on both ends of the floor like offensively you got to understand you're going to get impacted physically and you got to be able to handle that but defensively now you can use that to your advantage and you can be a little bit more physical than maybe you're able to do during uh, your NBA season but it, it is a very physical game. Tatum wants it back to the basket, zips the pass out nicely. The ball humming around the perimeter again. Levine, tough step back. Mills got his hand in there and altered the shot. You know, we talk about defense and, and you know, it, Greg Popovich has to be salivating at the addition of Drew Holiday whenever yes. the finals are over, right? I mean, because there's one of the premier perimeter defenders in the world uh, that's going to be added to the roster to be able to, to help buoy their defense. He, alongside Chris Middleton and Devin Booker, will be joining USA at the conclusion of the NBA Finals, currently led by Phoenix two games to one against Milwaukee. But that is a great point you bring up, Kara. Drew Holiday, one of the best defenders in the NBA. Jason Tatum's going to get called for an offensive foul. That 
kind of gave Jock Landale a forearm shiver there. Landale. Here's Garland guarding Mills. Mills gets around him and lays it in. Patty Mills, always moving. Out of Io inside. Bam. Yeah, he traveled. Australia will get it back. Uh, he impacts the game with his pace and his nonstop movement. And, you know, Patty Mills will just run faster, harder, longer than you and find a way to get to, get to the rim. Yeah, big news for Patty Mills, recently named one of two flag bearers for Australia alongside swimmer Kate Campbell. The first indigenous flag bearer for Australia is Patty Mills, so congratulations to Patty. Foul called on Keldon Johnson. Tybal takes a seat. Here, here. And inside to Landale. Angles, quick catch and shoot. Tatum gets the pick. As Landale sidesteps his way to a three, his patented move doesn't go this time. Landale wants it, he gets it. NBL Finals MVP this year. Garland, nice move. Can't finish though. Great move on Mills by Darius Garland. Kick by Tatum. Seven minutes to go in the first half. The defense picking up for both sides. USA leading Australia by three. Not quite 13 minutes through. USA with a 29-26 lead over Australia. Here's what's coming up for USA basketball. The men take on Argentina on Tuesday and then Friday, USA women's basketball taking some exhibition games against Australia and Nigeria later in the weekend. Only, only the most dominant team in the world, right? Yes. Going for their seventh straight gold medal, uh, the U.S. women. And uh, both Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi going for their fifth gold medal, which is ridiculous yeah. that they've been able to play at this level for this long. And so uh, some new faces, though, on, on the U.S. women's Olympic team. Very much looking forward to seeing them against Australia, who is a power on the women's side as well, one of the best teams in the world. He should mention we are playing on the home floor of the Las Vegas Aces. They're off to a great start in the 2021 WNBA season. So Josh Green has checked in on the Dallas Mavericks. Went last off him. Good look inside out of bio. And not only was it a good look, it was a really good catch. Yes. Uh, it was in between two or three Aussie defenders and still snared that ball and was able to get it out to the corner. Yeah, you're right, Kara. Bam has really good hands. Good offensive game out to 15 feet. Brings a lot defensively. Good addition for USA basketball this year. Off the curl, Levine. Good ball movement again. Keldon Johnson gets to his spot and floats it home. A little bit of friendly San Antonio spur fire right there. Yeah, Patty Mills, yeah. that probably happens in the practice facility down there in San Antonio, but excellent drive, physical drive by Keldon Johnson to finish with that height advantage. Spur on spur crime. Sobe feeding Mills. Gets it right back. Goal 10 on Tatum. 
Off the curl, Levine. Good ball movement again. Keldon Johnson gets to his spot and floats it home. A little bit of friendly. Nice finish there by Keldon Johnson, who's already up to seven points. And he's part of the select team, not part of the, the 12 that'll be on the Olympic roster. Tatum. Off target again. Australia looking to run. On green, Guardy Mills. Nice crossover. Scoop to the hoop. In and out. Reese with the town follow. Here's Beal. Nice green set by Draymond Green. Okay, yeah, reaching in the whole time. They're going to get him for the personal foul. <laughs> How about that move from Patty Mills on cool. the other end? I mean, I'll quick, tell you. quick on quick on quick. No matter who the U.S. has switched on to him, he's still been able to, to find, find a way to the basket. Hey, Kara, Patty Mills is a guy 32 years old. He seems to get better with age. Well, he, he just he, he holds himself to a high standard and is, is in incredible shape and then plays at this tempo that very few can match throughout the entire four quarters. Some players can play at that tempo for a stretch, but Patty Mills plays at it the entire time he's out there. That's why it's hard to guard. Thibault was wide open inside. Would have been a tough pass to make, though. But he would have had a dunk. Nathan Sobey. Might have dragged the pivot's foot. Blocked by Lillard. Attacking off the catch. It's Bradley Peel flushing it down. It's been more of a defensive struggle here in the second quarter, Kara. 27 points in the first quarter for USA. Just six thus far here this period. Well, it seems like both teams have settled in defensively as well. Both teams with just six points this quarter. Joe Ingles hit three first quarter threes. Defended well by Draymond. Grant gets the screen. Tatum on the baseline drive and deflected out by Theibel. Uh, great advance pass there by Lillard, and then excellent cut uh, by Bradley Beal. Started, ran through the pass uh, right as it was coming to him, got the first step on green, and was able to finish at the rim. Beal finished second in the league in scoring, a little more than 31 per game for Washington. Lillard was on fire in the first quarter. Exum. Step back from Ingles. Too strong. USA stringing together some stops. Tatum. Blowing past Ingles and laying it in. Nicely done by Jason Tatum. Point lead for USA. Beal, active hands on the help side. Beal to the rim again, and he'll go to the line. Uh, KD doing an excellent job being a facilitator. I mean, he's getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Knows that he draws a lot of attention scoring the ball. And you take a look at the last couple possessions, and you see a lot of attention off of that, passes it to Tatum. Tatum with the layup. Maybe that'll get him going. He's been off target offensively 
here in the first in the first half. And then Bradley Beal off the nice pass from KD and transition cross court is able to take the angle on the closeout and get to the rim. But, you know, Jay Wright mentioned it in our interview at the end of the first quarter, um, how impressed he was with how Durant was passing the ball. Yeah. And so um, obviously KD is a, a, a good passer. I mean, he, he's, he's a complete player. He's one of the best players in the world, but he's really getting it out of his hands quickly. And that's setting up his guys to be able to get quality looks at the basket. Beal makes both free throws. He'll put USA up seven as Jeremy Grant checks in for Jason Tatum. Seven point lead here for USA at Michelob Ultra Arena. Cut down to four by Matisse, Thibel, and Kara. If he can continue to hit the three, watch out NBA. He is great on the defensive end. He is. He's, he's a very good player on the defensive end of the floor. And, you know, to be able to to play at the highest level in the playoffs, what do we see? I mean, you have to be a two-way player. You have to be somebody that they respect on both ends of the floor. And as he continues to grow his, his offensive game, then he'll be able to, to turn into that. So Beal at the line for two free throws again. And, Kerry, you had a chance when you were the uh, – TV analyst for the Washington Wizards to really get an up close and personal look at Bradley Beal. What do you like about his game? I love his consistency. Uh, I mean, every game, this guy comes ready to play. Um, he comes ready to attack. And I love the way he moves without the basketball. Uh, I love the way that he takes shoulders the responsibility of, of being a, a high scorer for his team almost every night. And so I, I enjoyed sitting courtside, watching him 82 games because of the pro professionalism he brings every night. There was one stretch early in this season where he was putting up 40, 50 every night, finished averaging a little more than 31 per game. Mills can't create separation. Great on-ball defense by Jeremy Grant. Patty Mills has had his way with a couple of the United States bigs on that switch, and Jeremy Grant does a good job of staying down, uh, not going for the shot fake, and that length allowed him to challenge and force Patty Mills into the turnover. USA forcing the sixth boomer turnover of the first half. USA with a six point lead. Group play begins in a little under two weeks for USA. Going up against Iran, France, and Czech Republic. Oh, France is a terrific team. Czech Republic beating Canada, in Canada, yeah. to take that berth. Thomas Sadoransky uh, was terrific there, hitting a, an improbable shot uh, to help them get to get to Tokyo. And, you know, at we'll halftime, we'll talk with USA Basketball's Jim Tooley and get some more insight on the road to Tokyo for this team, for this men's basketball national team, and see how he feels about uh, where they are and, and where, they, where they need to get to. USA looking for a fourth straight gold medal the Olympics, after finishing seventh at the 2019 FIBA World Cup. Durant has the advantage over Thibel and knocks it down. Now you can just replace Thibel's name at the end of that sentence for almost every player in the world. Durant has the advantage yeah. over <laughs> exactly. everybody. <laughs> oh, what a performance he put on in the playoffs with the Brooklyn Nets. Great look inside. Landale finishing off the feed for Mills. Deal to Lillard, short this time. He swims through the defense and Thibel with a great recovery. Seven to shoot for Grant. They go to KD again. Green to beat the buzzer. Coming up on the final minute of the first half. Australia looking to make some inroads here. A tough pass to make. Brent and Green all over it. Draymond pushing. Feeds Lillard, rises up and finishes around Landale with a left. The transition game off of the USA getting stops has allowed them to pass ahead and to push the pace a little bit. And then Landale throws it away. An opportunity here to, to really stretch this lead out, see if they can get it to double digits before the half. Hands for another two for one here for USA Basketball. 
checked by Thibel. Who you want to go to? Uh, I mean, here, any of these guys, but I would say you lean toward Beal, Durant, and Lillard here. Lillard obviously has had the hot hand. Um, Durant can score at any time, and, and Beal is one of the best scorers in the NBA as well. So I would think those three guys with Durant or Draymond helping with the action with screening or DHOs. Lillard a three. Knocks it down. Another three for Damian Lillard. Foul called on Green. K drive. Uh, Dame has bounced back in a big time way. Uh, never had any doubt about that. The way he scores the basketball at such a high rate. And it's been confident, it's been aggressive. I love the, love the first half he's put together. Shot clock off here for the Boomers. Mills guarded by Draymond. Looking to get free. And it's a tough shot. Another shot to beat the buzzer. This one, not as high stakes as the one against Argentina, but a good shot nonetheless to get Australia within single digits heading into halftime. Uh, Patty Mills has made a habit of making tough shot after tough shot and isolated against Draymond Green. Draymond does a solid job. Uh, he just gets him on his heels a little bit, creates enough space with the size differential to get it off. And Australia needed that bucket because the, the USA had gone on a nice little run before halftime. And let's go to Damian Lillard, who had a great first half. His team up nine. Damian, thanks for joining us. A, a great first half for you personally. What was working so well for you out there? Uh, just being more assertive, more aggressive. Um, you know, the international game is a lot different. Uh, it's my first time really getting into it like this, and um, you know, I'm just getting more comfortable as we go. Dame, defensively, um, what, what were the changes that you hope to make as a team coming off that loss to Nigeria in this game, and, and what do you think you've had success with on that end? Uh, we just weren't aggressive last game. You know, the three-point line is, is much shorter in international, and we were on our heels letting guys walk in the threes comfortably um, and hoping that, they, hoping that they miss instead of going up and trying to make them miss. And uh, we just much more aggressive. We much more talkative, um, and we, we just playing harder tonight. Well, Damian, thanks for your time. Best of luck in the second half. Appreciate it. That's Damian Lillard, 16 first half points to lead USA out to a lead at the half against Australia. Up by nine after 20 minutes. Keldon Johnson with a nice finish there. At the half, we'll have highlights of both games. First Nigeria's win over Argentina and from the first half of this game. And we'll also hear from Jim Tooley of USA Basketball. Patty Mills getting jiggy with it here. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter. His Boomers trailing USA by nine. Talking with his San Antonio teammate there, Keldon Johnson. Here's the leading scorers for USA. Damian Lillard with 16, Beal with eight. Keldon Johnson, the select USA team, with seven points. They've accounted for just about two-thirds of the team's scoring in the first 20 minutes. Meanwhile, Patty Mills leading Australia with 12. Joe Ingles with nine. All Three of his threes coming in the first quarter, and then Jock Landale and Duop Reef with four apiece. Starting five on the floor for USA. Kevin down alongside Kara Lawson and Kara. They always talk about the first five minutes of the second half being some of the most important minutes of the game. What are you going to be looking for out of Team USA here to start the third quarter? Continuation of being solid defensively. And that's what we've heard them talk about. More pressure, more physical defensively. I thought the insertion of Draymond Green and, J and Jeremy Grant into the starting lineup by Greg Popovich tonight did bring some more of that physicality on that end. Seeing more of it here on this possession. Nice behind the back bounce pass. Ingles setting up Della Vadova. Not a good look, didn't hit it. Beal lost it. Hustles to keep the possession alive. Lillard a deep through. 
Four of seven from downtown. Bible setting up Landale. Has a size advantage. Goes to the left hand going baseline. Now Landale does a good job of just taking his time and being patient. Knew he had the size advantage. There's Patty Mills almost stealing a possession. Almost got a bucket. USA with a five on four advantage, but Della Vadova with a big time deflection there. So USA basketball. On the baseline, leading by seven. Grant to throw it in. Grant trying to get free, and another deflection by Della Vadova. Here, this is what he does best. He is a pest on the defensive end. He's a pest, and he continues to work. Obviously, has great experience playing against all these, all these players in the NBA. And Durant from the corner. Catches it in. Lead back to 10 for USA. Mills going to work. Runs into trouble. Angles. Nice has he. Pulled her way short. Uh, the assists continue to pile up for USA Basketball. Uh, KD open in the corner. I mean, that's, that's a given. That's going to be a bucket. Nice extra pass there from Jeremy Grant. A little behind Draymond. Thibel to steal. Durant to beat. And he flies to the rim and throws it down. Thibel coming off his second season in the NBA with the Philadelphia 76ers. Second team all defense despite averaging just 20 minutes per game this year. And there's some more good defense from Australia as Patty Mills draws an elbow from Beal. Well, we talked about the, the USA and, and their improved physicality on the defensive end. How about Australia to start this third quarter? I mean, Patty Mills got a steal and almost was able to convert it. Yep. Uh, draws the offensive foul. This team has never medaled in the Olympics or the World Cup. Great look going back to our angles off the feed from Landale, but this is a side that really believes it can medal this year. Durant. It's Grant. I'm sure they thought he stepped on the baseline. Grant gets it back. And that's going to be an offensive foul, bowling over Patty Mills. So the Australians with some momentum now. Yeah, I mean, they have, they have been physical, and they've attacked the U.S. with the basketball and been very, very physical. And, and you know, that, that's what you have to do to turn the tide of the game. You have to be able to do it on the defensive end of the floor, and they've done that here in the first three minutes of the second half. A little karma there for Australia. It definitely looked like... Grant stepped out of bounds, going back door. Mills, no, Landale on the tip jam follow. Doc Landale, a guy you can very well see soon in the NBA as Durant has a big answer. Seven point lead for USA. Go to Landale inside. Five to shoot for number five. Mills has to put it up just in time. Great defense from USA. Lillard. Feel a three. Nibel. He'll step back and knocks one down. Back down to four. Hit three threes in the win over Argentina on Saturday. Lillard knocks it down. A shootout here at Michelob Ultra Arena right now. Good flow. 
Bengals foul going up. Kara, USA getting hot from downtown. Yeah, finding each other. I mean, this is the run stopper by KD. I'll show you. I'll show you how to cut it. And then another excellent challenge shot by Dame Lillard. And those are two two players that uh, you just need to get the basketball to. Yeah. The other team's on a run, and, and they'll stop it for you almost single-handedly. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. You know, we, we talked to Dame before halftime, and, and you know, he, he said, look, I, I haven't played international basketball before, so just every day I'm getting more and more comfortable. Every day I'm getting a better understanding of where I can impact the game. And um, that's the thing I think that, you know, we forget and we don't forget uh, in, in, in cheering for uh, the, the U.S. men's national team is uh, a lot of first-time Olympians on this roster, a lot of guys that have not played under that glare. They played under the glare of the NBA playoffs and the NBA lights, and, and, and that is glare. That's significant. But to play it with the USA on your chest and a gold medal at stake, that's a little different. And so um, every day and every game, they're going to get better and better as they understand there's different nuances to this style, to the FIBA style. And meanwhile, as Beal just rattles out a three, a lot of these other national teams have played together for years. And so that certainly gives these other teams a leg up. As they try to go to K inside, a lot of physical defense down low. Lillard tips it away, nicely done. Lillard, the shot fake, the three, it's good for Damian Lillard. He's locked in tonight. On the watch. Game time arriving early and often here for USA. Thibel slipping the screen and throwing it down. A good offensive execution both ways right now. Deal foul. And back to your point, though, about Lillard just being his first international competition. We'll get to it on the other side, Kara, as we have a timeout. A little more than midway through the third, Damian Lillard is sizzling hot. Escape dribble triple is true for Lillard, USA, up six. And the theme tonight for them on the offensive end has been the ball movement. Very, very unselfish group. And finding each other, cutting at the appropriate time, of course, finishing the shots, but looking to attack, drawing defense, and then finding the open guy. And so they had 12 assists on 17 field goals in the first half, and there's been more of the same in the second half as well. Just attacking and utilizing all the spacing that their shooting prowess provides them. Damian Lillard's been the ringleader, but I think the ball movement led by Kevin Durant and his unselfish play and getting off the basketball quickly um, has been a big reason why they have the lead. See, it's led to USA shooting nearly 50% from the floor. 16 assists now for USA on 21 made shots, so they've assisted on all four of their made buckets here in the third as they turn it over. A little too far ahead the pass there from Tatum to Durant. But Kerry, anytime you can assist on more than three quarters of your made field goals, you are doing a lot of things right offensively. Mills with it, he's got Durant on. AD, very good defender. We talk about his offense a lot, but get it done on the defensive end as well. Dante Exum, hassled by Adebayo. Chris Goulding, a three in the deficit, cut in half for the Boomers. Known as CG43 in the NBL, where he is a former NBL Finals MVP for Melbourne United. We'll knock him down, we'll knock him down. Chance to tie here. Or cut to one. Nice shot pick. Nick K kisses it in off the window. And the lead down to one. Intensity picking up. Trying to go back door. Somehow it gets to Beal. A little fortunate there for USA. Lillard. Pocket pass, good ball movement. Tatum just beats the buzzer with the lay-in. Very good patience. The shot clock was going down, and excellent job by Bam Adebayo to find Jason Tatum on the cut. Yeah, well-timed cut by Jason Tatum. 
Three minutes to go in the third. It's a three-point game. Mills to tie it up. Can't do it. Hits around Mills. Fires a three. Now six for 10 from downtown for Lillard. Goulding a three, just hit one. Tap back, Exum setting up Reef, and we're tied. Two off Reef. Former LSU Tiger has us all square at 60. Play yourself, buddy. Play yourself. Here's Tatum now. 10 to shoot. 10 to run for Australia. Cam out of bio. Can't make it. And we have a jump ball in FIBA. It's possession arrow. You don't jump it up. It's like NCAA. So possession arrow in favor of USA. Out of bio couldn't make it, but Bradley Beal. Getting rough and rugged with Nicholas K there. Yeah, sneaking in there and, and creating extra possession. And Bradley Beal has shown a lot of really good effort over these couple of exhibition tune-up games. Two to go in the third. Tatum trying to create his shot here, falling away and has success. Now let's see if Tatum can get going here in the second half. Didn't have a great first half in terms of shooting the basketball. Uh, was off a little bit with the shots, but let's see if he can get going. And Dante Exum slithers by the defense. First bucket for Exum, former top five pick for the Utah Jazz back in 2014. Uh, similar to Kevin Durant in this way, there are very few people that can defend that shot, uh, that fadeaway with that size and that length, and Tatum has a terrific touch with his jump shot. Lillard taking on Goulding, setting up Levine. That'll be a foul on Bam. Going the other way. Just the second team foul on USA, and we're in the final two minutes of the third. The uh, real difference between FIBA and the NBA, there is no second foul in the last two minutes of a quarter and you're shooting free throws. So next foul does not put Australia at the line unless it's a shooting foul. Kara, we're coming down to the final minute of the third quarter. Are you surprised that USA is in another tight game? Not at all. Not one bit. I mean, Australia is one of the best teams in the world, and I, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a team that has better chemistry than the Aussies do. Um, they, they've played a long time together. Um, the nucleus of this team has been through a lot of battles, and, um, you know, they're, they're motivated. They're motivated to, to win, and, you know, we talked about this. This is the USA is in the first week of training. Um, you know, they had four days of practice before the Nigeria game, and obviously it's a roster that's incomplete with three players and Booker and Holiday and Middleton still playing in the NBA Finals. Now, I'm not using that as, a, as an excuse. That's just the state of, of where they are right now. And there's a lot of growth that needs to be made. And certainly the stretch to close the third quarter defensively for USA has been quite porous. And they'll need to rectify that in the fourth. Ingles hits both free throws going on his fourth Olympics. He and Patty Mills alike. Only one boomer has played in five Olympics. Andrew Gaze, the great Andrew Gaze. 4-62, Australia leading the USA now. Bam inside, taking contact. Almost flipped that in, but it'll go the line for a pair. I'll go on Reef. Now we should mention this impressive third quarter by Australia. They've done so without the services of Aaron Baines for the better yes. part of the game. And knock knees with Bradley Beal in the first half and has not returned to the game. He's sitting on, on the bench um, with looks like ice on his on his knee, but um, he's a critical part. We're gonna talk about that nucleus of the group of guys that have played together for such a long time, and Ingles and Mills and Delavadova and Baines, and um, you know, he, he's certainly, hopefully, he's, he'll be okay. 
um, because that physicality that he brings, his ability to knock down the three-point shot, which has emerged later in his career, um, it has become a critical part in certainly setting screens, monster screens yes. for those shooters to get open. I shot 35% from three to your point, Kara, with the Phoenix Suns in the 1920 season. He's going to play in his third Olympics this year. Tied at 64, Goulding on a step back contested. Nicely done by Chris Goulding. Australia will have the last shot of the third quarter, leading by two. Lillard throws it away. Shot clock off for the Boomers. They were the last team to defeat USA in exhibition competition before the Nigerians did it on Saturday. Ingles to Goulding to beat the buzzer, he says! Chris Goulding has put Australia up five, heading into the fourth. Wow! What a shot. Uh, he barely had it in his hands. I mean, hardly any at the time at all. And Ingles does a nice job of snaking his way in there, gets stuck, and doesn't need a lot of time and is able to finish it. And we talked about, like, who outside of Mills and Ingles is going to be able to, to give them a, a, a score? And, and Goulding has come in and, and been terrific, just a shot maker. Average 16 points per game in the NBL this past season. Australia finishing the third quarter on a 19-6 run to take a five-point lead into the fourth. Well, Coach, a fantastic third quarter for the Boomers. What was working so well in that period that allowed you to finish the quarter on a 19-6 run? Uh, first of all, getting the ball off the floor a little bit so we could attack the switching with some slips and stuff like that. So moving the ball a bit more, some hard cutting, and getting some stops. So the combination of those two things. You're, you're able to seize the lead, but what's it going to take in the fourth quarter? What's the emphasis here for you guys defensively? Well, getting, getting stops, doing a job on Lillard, getting out there, keeping him off the three and rebounding. Keeping him off the three and rebounding would be huge. Oh, thanks for your time, Coach. Appreciate it. That was Adam Caporn, recently named the head coach of the Long Island Nets of the G League, Brooklyn's G League affiliate, assistant to the Australian national team. His boomer's up five, and with possession to start the fourth. Goulding. Knocked out of play. Off Levine, he does not like ball. Four on the timer here for the Boomers. Ingles has to hoist. Tough shot defended well, and we're going to get a foul down low on Della Vadova. Almost had a wide open put now, but got caught. Kara, what's going to be key here for the United States in the fourth? It just comes down to defensively, and, and the thing that's a good thing for the Aussies is that that run was made with Patty Mills on the bench. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you when you think about it, and you know, we talked about how special he is of a scorer, and, and so defensively, a lull for the United States to close that third quarter. They were not good defensively. They're going to have to find a way to gain some traction, be more physical. You know, kind of the way Australia turned up the defensive pressure at the start of the third quarter. That's what we need to see from USA here in the fourth. To your point, Kara, Australia is shooting 55% from the floor. That's way too high from a USA perspective. Bam with it. Passed off by Goulding to Della Vadova. Backs him down. Five to shoot. Turns around and gets a very, very friendly roll through the hoop. Ingles finding the slipping race and he floats it home. Uh, that's what Australia talked about, right? I mean, that's yep. what Coach said, that, that, that the quarter is they could get the ball around a little bit more. They could utilize the slips to be able to attack the switching. They didn't think they attacked the switching great in that first half, but certainly in that third quarter they did. Nice bucket there from Bradley Beal. He's in the double figures with 10.
Reith, who's been productive off the Boomer bench. Ingles, a step back, trying to draw contact. Maybe in the NBA he gets that call. Anon FIBA, Tatum for three. Rebound tapped out by Bam out of aisle. Inside, Keldon Johnson. Big battle for the loose ball, and Australia has it. Ingles cutting, goes to Kay. Draws contact. Nick Kay will shoot two. That'll go on Levine. It's, it's a constant tug of war in the possession, right? Like who's in control of the possession? Are you proactive or are you reactive? And defensively for the United States, they've been reactive more in the second half. And it had to find a way to, to control the game more on the defensive end. But, so how do you go from reactive to proactive? Bring the pressure, you know, Im Im impact the game on that end, bring the physicality. Now, now the offense has to react to you because yep. you're bringing that pressure. And you have to do that to a man. Uh, I mean, it's every, it's every single guy that's out there, uh, particularly the one that's guarding the basketball. It has, has the ability to change the, the tenor of the possession by how he plays on the ball. Nick Kay, Nick Cole, three throws the lead back to five. Kevin Durant will check back in. 7.41 to go. He replaces Bam out of bio. Do off Reef. Checks out. Thibel back in. Yeah, he certainly knows how to bring some defensive pressure for Australia. Beal on the drive. Tough reverse. Kay with it. Driving on Johnson all the way to the 10 for the two. Levine settles into a three. Can't get the quick response. And Beal forced the travel there on Del Vadova stepping in front of him. Another intangible play made by Beal. Yeah, I'm proud with a few nice plays. Here to help change the game. The USA attacking the switch. We talked about how Australia attacked the switch so well. There's Bradley Beal attacking the switch and making a tough finish on the defensive end of the floor. Spooking Della Vadova just a little bit. That's a turnover. Those types of possessions, they make the difference in a win or a loss. Tonight's game between USA basketball and Australia is brought to you by Nike. Play new. Bradley Beal's kids enjoying the action here at Michelob Ultra Arena inside Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. And Beal with a nice fourth quarter thus far, just forced the turnover on Matthew Delavadova to give USA an extra possession. He's got 12 points on an efficient four of six. Tatum. Puts it on the deck. It's Levine, a contested triple. Pops out and pops back down in. Two point game. Inside K. What a wraparound pass to Xavier Cook. Seen his first action of the week thus far in Vegas with a big dunk there to put the Boomers back up by four. Beal. Off the pick and roll. Deflect it out. It will stay on this side of the floor. Great answer there. And you see Kay, Kay's made some impactful plays. He really has. Skill big. Played with Real Batiste and Durant, blocked by Thibel. And Thibel can't get it back because Bradley Beal makes another big play and draws the foul. Bradley Beal getting it done. We've seen some great defense here recently. Um, in the isolation situation, 
Not very many defenders that win that against KD. And then excellent hustle by Bradley Beal and then draws the foul. And that was a short period of time where Greg Popovich had a lineup in that didn't have Green or Adebayo in the game. I mean, Kevin Durant was the, was yeah. the, the tallest player on the floor. Well, he's the tallest player on the floor, even if he's with Adebayo and, and Green, yeah. but in terms of an interior presence. And now comes back to Draymond. And he sets up Durant for three. USA within one. Durant's hit three straight from downtown as Green sends Exum to the deck. Quick find from Draymond, Kevin Durant, and just a screen there. Uh, Damian Lillard pins in Thibel. Teammates for three years, Golden State leading the Warriors to two NBA championships. We're connecting here with the Olympic team. Mills, two hands in his face. Oh, it doesn't matter. Are you kidding me? That is a tough shot. So they were on that play all the time. And everybody yep. knows it's for Patty Mills. The entire team knows it's for yep. Patty Mills. And Patty Mills still gets a shot and makes it. Field to the hoop. He gets fouled. I, I mean, and out of bounds for the Aussies, and Patty Mills takes it out. You have to be aware that the plays for him, really the plays for him almost every time. And Draymond switches onto it and it gets a pretty good challenge, but this is what he does. He makes tough, tough shots in the important time of the game in the yep. fourth quarter for Australia. That was his first bucket of the second half. He's got 15 now. Durant with a hand in his face and he answers back. Drills it over Nick Day. Four straight threes now for Durant. Kevin Durant, uh, another really tough shot, uh, is able to make it. And uh, you, uh, you know, you would anticipate if you just look at the marquee coming into the game, you'd say, okay, who in the in the fourth quarter is going to come alive for their team? Mills for all show, yeah, and Durant for the USA. Stars are shining bright in the fourth. Midway through the final frame, Mills scooping it high off the glass, no, and. Draymond Green got fouled. Yeah, undercut by K. Exum doesn't agree. But there was a big collision inside. And luckily, everyone's OK. Actually ran into Beal there. I think Australia was, was saying that Durant had hit K. And then K hit Green. I think that's what they were frustrated about. Thankfully, everyone's all right from a collision like that. Last thing you want, we already saw Aaron Baines go out with a knee issue, and I hope he's able to play in Tokyo. Hopefully just precautionary that he's sitting out. Don't want to see either Kay or Draymond go out for the Olympic Games. As Draymond hits the first free throw, and USA has tied it up. This for the lead. Now, USA trailed heading into the fourth against Nigeria and never led in the fourth quarter. They can't take the lead yet. Axum guarded by Green. The spin. Green read him the whole way. Tatum. For the lead, there it is. Jason Tatum has USA in front. Mills, the ball in his hands, as expected. Durant guarding him. Late clock for the Boomers. Here comes Patty, and he's fouled. Uh, immediate change in USA's defense when Dray Draymond Green was inserted into the game. And if you're going to drive on the rim against him, the shot will be challenged physically. And that leads to the fast break. Tatum with a nice finish. Draymond, right from when he came in the game, 
has an assist to KD for a three, and all of a sudden, uh, there's a little bit of momentum for the USA. Raymond Green recently named to a sixth NBA All-Defensive Team, of course, the Defensive Player of the Year a few years back. Dottie Mills has a chance to tie things back up. And he does. Nick Kay will come back in. He's been huge for the Australian effort tonight. Also had a double-double in the win over Argentina on Saturday. Final four minutes coming up. Beal gets the pick. Now Thibel on him. Durant with five. Fires over K. Mills drew the foul on KD last time. This time he finishes nicely, putting his body into him a little bit to get the separation for the two. Back door, off Durant's knee. That'll be Australia basketball. Uh, Patty Mills, ISOing Kevin Durant a couple times here, and you're right, just puts, nudges his shoulder into him to just cut off that length to be able to be, to be able to, to finish. What a player, what a player. I mean, the lights come on at the end of the fourth quarter for Australia, and they know that they've got an absolute killer in Patty Mills to finish games for them. A very worthy flag bearer for Australia. Inside, wide open is Thibel. That can't happen right now for USA. Way too easy. And a timeout called by Greg Popovich. USA trailing by four. Thibel wide open, going back door. And Australia with the lead on USA. 3.14 to go in the fourth. Patty Mills up to 19 points to lead Australia to a four-point lead. Kara, what have you seen from him here in the fourth? Uh, just more aggression. Uh, he didn't score in that third quarter. And he, he got his rest at the end of that third quarter when Australia went on a run. And then it's just been all gas and no brakes for this guy in the fourth quarter. An uh, unbelievable score. And he can do it against any size player. Uh, it's his speed and his quickness, his pace. We talked about the top. I mean, his pace is what sets the tone for their offense. Even when he's not scoring, how he runs, the pace he runs off the screens opens up things for his teammates. A big USA chant breaking out here at Michelob Ultra Arena, trying to rally their team to a victory against Australia. Work to be done. Durant is fouled by Mills. The USA is in the bonus. Durant will go to the line. Normally automatic at the stripe, Durant. Rear 88% foul shooter. but misses that one. USA missed, missed some clutch free throws late against Nigeria too. Zach Levine down three, missed the, the first free throw unintentionally, then the second one intentionally. Part of that 90 to 87 losses, Durant hits the second. Okay. Looking for angles. Hot in the first quarter was Joe. Mills on the cut, lays it up and lays it in past Tatum. Patty Mills now with 21 points. Lillard to Durant. In and out. Australia looking for a three possession lead in the final two minutes. Big defensive possession for USA here. Mills around and out. Five to shoot. Can't get free. 
Delhi looking for K. Ingles just flips it up. Almost went in. Lillard contested three. Mills the rebound. Final 100 seconds here. Late clock for Delhi. Tatum picks his pocket. Three seconds left for Mills. Thibel. And we play on. Great defense. Beal. Backdoor for Durant. Couldn't wrangle it in. It stayed in play. Tatum airballs the three. And the late game execution offensively not there for USA right now. South of 60. USA on the brink of being, twi being beaten twice in a row in Vegas. Mills, the crossover. Blocked by Draymond Green. Two seconds left on the shot clock, and this is pivotal because it's a two-possession game right now. They got to get the stop and then look to get the push, see if they can get the two-for-one and not have to rely on the fouling here at the end. They need the stop first. Just two to shoot. Keep it away from Mills for the time being. And Draymond gets the steal, and he's fouled. A double whammy from an Australian perspective. Green, the great defense, and now he'll go to the line for a chance to cut it to three. Uh, great defense on back-to-back -back possessions, right? I mean, this is the block that saves a potential layup that puts it into the end out of bounds at two seconds left, and then here, getting the steal and picking up the foul. Kara, absolutely no surprise that Draymond Green has turned into the defensive stopper here in Vegas. This is what he does. It's a team control foul. Uh, so it's actually going to be side out. They say uh, the a team control foul, so no free throws, even though USA is in the bonus. Lillard hits the switch, knifes through the defense. Durant, the extra pass. And Della Vidova off the deflection. Three on one for Australia, and Durant disrupts Thibel. But USA has to foul. And Australia on the brink of another big win. So the ball skips around, but at some point someone's got to take the shot. Uh, they're up against the clock. Maybe Durant could have taken that one, and a nice deflection. And Australia reads that play, and Draymond hit himself on the head coming down here with the dead ball because of the turnover that he makes at a critical time. That was the fourth team foul, so they got to foul one more time. And unfortunately, that's not a guy you want to send to the line. No choice, though, for Draymond Mills, a 91% free throw shooter with the Spurs this past season. U.S. still has two timeouts. See if Patty Mills can give him a break here. He misses the first. It'll stay a two-possession game. Second one from Mills. That is good. USA down six. Looking for Lillard. Duran a three. Too strong. And Della Vadova with a great punch out to Ingles for the exclamation point. Australia up by eight with three seconds left. And it's two straight losses for Team USA in Las Vegas. 91 to 83 boomers. 
what a performance by the Aussies in the second half. In particular, that third quarter. The end of that third quarter, they went on a run with Patty Mills on the bench, and then in the fourth quarter, they were the better team. They were the better executing team on both ends of the floor, but particularly on the offensive end. And a win, a great win, a great win for them. But you know, this this is one of the best teams in the world, Australia. And, and so, um, you know, not as shocking, I would say, as the Nigeria loss in that sense. Um, but certainly, uh, we still see the areas of growth that that need to happen for the USA in the next couple of weeks uh, for them to, to win the gold in Tokyo. USA led by nine at halftime. Then care that aforementioned run, 19 to six over the final five minutes of the third. And then Australia with an 11 to one run to end the game and put this one away, winning 91 to 83. So Kara, another loss here for USA. Of course, it, it doesn't affect their Olympic standing at all, but another reminder that it's not going to be easy in Tokyo. No, it's not going to be easy. And, and, and again, this is, what, their sixth day together. Uh, so this is a group that needs to just continue to, to, to work on on being more consistent. And I think it starts on the defensive end for them. I really do. And I thought they started the game with a little more fire, a little more physicality on that end. But there was a lull there in the third quarter. And then they couldn't couldn't get a hold of it there in the fourth. So a, a, a lot still to work on. But um, you know we'll, we'll be able to see them. We'll be able to see them tomorrow and get a chance to see whether uh, they're able to, to make some of the changes that, that they need to make. Two wins in two games for Australia here in Las Vegas. Patty Mills, a big time performance in the fourth quarter, scoring 10 of his 22 points in the final frame, leading Australia to an eight point win. And now we do have Patty Mills joining us. Patty, congrats on the win. Big time performance. Went on that big run in the third and then another closing run in the fourth. What were the keys to those big runs that allowed you to put this game away? Defense, all, all defense. We understand at the start of this campaign that for us to be able to be really competitive and, and achieve our goals, we need to hang our hat on the defensive end. And especially against an athletic team like obviously the US and, and getting out in transition and, and making easy layups and dunks, for us to take away that was, uh, was pretty impressive for our second game. But we're not satisfied. We've got a long way to go. We can still get a, a lot better. Um, but like I said, defense is where we're going to hang our hat uh, for this whole campaign. Patty, you lose Baines in the first in the first quarter, and and then in in the third quarter, a run spurred largely by your bench. Uh, I mean, I know you see these guys every day, and, and you know what what they're capable of. But what what did you what did you make of their impact in this game, and how they helped propel you to the win? Yeah, look, we, we believe in our our entire team, you know, and and everyone being able to step on the floor and, and make a massive impact. Um, so guys being able to come off the bench, you know, we're, we're deep and, and yes, not a lot of people might, might know people um, on our team, but for them to be able to come up, step up and, and make big plays, not only on defensive end, but on the offensive end with, with big shots, um, it's just a credit to, to, you know, how much work that we're, we're putting in together and, and trusting and, and believing in, in one another, you know, for us to be able to achieve our goal, we're really going to need to do it together and, and tonight was an example of that. And that goal being the first medal for the Australians in Olympic competition. Patty, you were so close in 2016, losing that bronze medal game by just one point. What would it mean for you and your teammates to finally bring a medal to Australia in men's basketball competition? No words we'll be able to explain, mate. Um, but, but head down in the sand. We're all in the trenches together. Um, we know what it means will mean to us. We'll know what it means to our whole country. Um, we, we've got a job to do, and, and we're entirely focused on that. Patty, congrats on the win, and thanks for your time. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Patty Mills leading the Boomers to an eight-point win over USA, 91-83. to We'll be back with more after the break as USA suffers its second straight loss. This presentation of USA Basketball is brought to you by Nike. Play new. We are here in Las Vegas, where USA just lost its second straight game after losing to Nigeria 90 to 87, fall to Australia 91 to 83. Hi folks, Kevin down alongside Kara Lawson. And Kara, this game was there for the taking, but Australia, just like they did at the end of the third quarter with a big run, finishing the fourth quarter on a big run as well. And Patty Mills told us it was defense that made the difference for the Boomers. It was, I mean, there was a switch that flipped for Australia 
between the first half and the second half. We saw them impact the game on the defensive end. And then some mistakes by, by the United States down the stretch. I mean, a couple turnovers, missed shots, um, uncharacteristic of how these players typically play with their NBA teams. But this is a whole new ball of wax for them in terms of competing on the international level. For most of this team, a lot of first-time Olympians, I did see some growth from game one to game two, but there's clearly a long way to go for this USA men's team in the next couple weeks before uh, they get ready to try and take the gold in Tokyo. USA did lead Australia by nine at the break, 46 to 37. Couldn't get it done. Kerry, you mentioned you did see some growth from game one to game two. What were those areas of growth for USA? I thought there were longer stretches where they impact the game on the defensive end. Now, that did not happen in the latter stages, that third quarter and that fourth quarter when they really needed stops. They didn't get enough of them. But I did see some growth in that end. And then we talked about in the first half, the ball movement, sharing of the basketball, the assists. would like to see that extended through the entire game. But I thought that those were good signs of growth, good signs that this team is trending in the right direction. And hopefully, at some point we'll be able to see that in the win column well no time to think about this loss usa has another game in 24 hours tomorrow usa takes on argentina another top five team ranked in the world number four according to the fiba rankings but this one will sting for a little time losing 91 to 83 again tomorrow on six eastern nbc sports it'll be usa versus argentina 91 to 83, the final against Australia. Thank you for joining us here on NBC Sportsnet. For Carol Lawson and our entire team, I'm Kevin Dana. We'll see you back here tomorrow.